Ginger's working hard. Okie doke. Okay, we're going. Hey, everybody. Yay. Welcome, welcome. Thursday, Thursday. So, just so y'all know, my name is Tina Jones, excited independent beauty consultant in Ginger Benedict's future WOW national area. I have got my girlfriend, April Benet Sunshine, is going to help me out here. Hi. I'm going to start with a few fun facts, a few fun things, just so y'all will kind of get into it. But the star of the show is going to be April. She's going to show us how to do those lashes, girl. <laughs> I mean, the first time I met her, I was like, how do you do that? And uh, so school's out never, what is it? School's never out for the pro. So she is a pro. So Mary Kay has done something I've never, ever done. And it's super exciting. And I guess I didn't exactly understand it when they said they were going to come out with this. But then I ordered it in good faith anyway, knowing that I could make $500 when I sold them. And they came last night, y'all. This 12 days of Christmas or 12 favorites. Oh, no. This rocks. So it comes with this little cover. And on the back of the cover, it tells you all about what's inside the box. But look how beautiful this is. You're going to pull this off. Ooh. I suggest putting your name in big bold print somewhere back there on a pretty label. But then when you open this up, look at this, y'all. All 12 boxes. Yo, this is $99. What's in the boxes? It's it's all on the back of this. So there's full size and travel size product. Like there's a travel eye makeup remover. And there's a full size uh what eyeliner but there's patches to try anyway it is just some of our top products but all in this box so you can deliver this to all these fabulous men that need to get for their wives girlfriend aunts whatever okay. daughters and it's it and the beauty y'all we can get 10 of these and they'll sell out so if you're a consultant on here order because i mean i was shocked when i got this i just didn't understand typically wow all this ourselves we don't also sanitizer and it sprays y'all so isn't that great because you know the way it just it's fabulous renee has done a great job if you'll pop on our unit page there are some labels that you can buy from avery put a little santa thing on it and then it's sanitizer so that that rocks oh Those that's cute ones if you want to cover everything up but i like the idea of doing the avery labels because I'm that smart, I can just whip that on there. I don't have to tape or anything. So, but what we're really here to talk about is those eyes. Because we're all wearing those. So what are we seeing? Just right here. So we get all those fabulous lipsticks and lip glosses, but we're not, we're not seeing those out in public. So a few of our favorite products. Eye makeup remover. Y'all, this stuff rocks, all right? Yep, see, so you got it. So... Now, here's the trick, y'all, and I didn't tell people this when I first got it, when I first started with Mary Kate, and it, you just kind of think everybody will know how to use eye makeup remover, but they don't, because ours is different and special. We don't have to rub like with most, so you take it, shake it up, use these flat little cotton, I'm sure they have some expert name, I don't know what it is, do you know, April? Cotton flat. <laughs> <laughs> but... Put some product on there, y'all. Oh, no, this is upside down. Sorry, I don't ever know. But anyway, anyway, count to five, you know, say a prayer, say your affirmation, do something, count to five, and then, y'all, you just wipe that off. And, I mean, seriously, and you can kind of see that that was a little hard. Yeah. But it is super duper easy, and we don't want to rub around our eyes because that's where we show aging first. And right now, we don't want to age that area because we're – we're out and about, and that's all people are seeing of us. Mm -hmm. This right here is Ginger Benedict's favorite product. I had no idea. I'd never tried it. But it is the brow serum, y'all. Here's the brow serum. The brow serum. Mm -hmm. okay. Here's the trick to this, though. I didn't. So I had a customer that bought this because I was like, look, this is my director's product. You've got to try it. Because at one point, there was some talk about them discontinuing it. We were like, no. So, 
Y'all, it just has a little brush. You can put it on your eyelashes or your, or your brows or both. Tell your customer though, if they're gonna start this product, they need to take a picture up close of their eyes, okay? And try it for 30 or 60 days. So I had a customer that was on it for like 90 days and she's like, Tina, it's not, it, I'm sorry, it's not doing its thing. I was like, great, let me take it back. You want money, you want different product? No harm, no foul to me, because that's the beauty of Mary Kay. So what happened? In about two weeks, about two to three weeks, she called me. She goes, hey, girl, do you still have that stuff? And I said, what? What's the? She goes, that stuff I returned? She goes, my bad. She goes, in two weeks, I can tell a difference from not using it. So little magic tip there. But, you know, when they don't, and have them do that with any product or skincare, whatever, because you don't know what you don't know. You don't realize what a difference it's making over time because you're seeing your skin every day. So then, what do we have? Mm. Mascaras. Mascaras. But we also have an eye primer. Okay, honest confession. I was not using this until the pandemic with people seeing my eyes. Cause I was like, oh, that didn't really make a difference. Girlfriend, it makes a huge difference. And also for you that have youngsters that were dying to wear mascara, they can wear this, it's clear. And it still gives them a little bit of oomph and they feel like they're wearing it. So I sell a bunch of this to these girls that are trying and that kind of gives their mom some comfort that they're learning the proper things and then they're, um, and they get to wear something. So we have several different kinds of mascaras. I sell intensity out the wazoo because I wear intensity. So what I do is I kind of quiz people. My contact lens wearer, they usually wear waterproof. But you know, you wear lash lengthening, the love lash. If y'all bought that, what was it, the fanorama or whatever that stuff was, that brush is the bomb.com, but I don't think. I think it's, I don't get it anymore, but anyway, just quiz them. So what do you want in a mascara? And then, you know, they'll tell you. Some of them just want long lashes, you know, then that's going to be lash lengthening. So then what are we doing with all our allergies? Soothing eye gel, y'all. Men love this. Everybody loves this right now because everybody's on the computer and everybody's got puffy eyes. So in the summertime, I put it in the refrigerator. I guess you can still do that in the wintertime, but um, whatever you like, but it's great on your eyelids that are you just when you feel dry and puffy. But then what do we have that's the super duper? I know I'm Love patches. I can't really see these, but your consultant will know what it is. But these hydro patches, Y'all, they are the bomb. Now, Everything. learn from my mistake. I was doing them at night. I don't really know why I thought I should do. Can y'all can y'all see how pretty that is? Mm -hmm. It's got pink and sparkles. Anyway, I was doing them at night, and then I was like, "Why am I doing these at night? Because I want my eyes to be all puff free in the morning." So it's twenty minutes. So I thought, "Hey, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I like tea, or you know, I like to get up and read in the morning." So that's what I do. I put them on, go about my business for 20 or 30 business minutes, then I pop in the shower and then I start my day. Twice a week, mm, right now I'm using them a little bit more, just I'm kind of at that age, y'all. Something just for consultants, but also for the customers on there, just so y'all will know, y'all Mary Kay rocks it out and they provide us with all sorts of information. So I know some of y'all are information junkies and want to know everything and every product. And I get that. That's not me, but I understand some people are that way. On your InTouch, if you did not know this, there is a product central part. Every product in our line has a fact sheet, y'all. So when my customers are trying something new, like this brow serum, I'm not your girl that's going to know every ingredient. That's just not who I am. I can tell you if I like it or if I don't act like it, and I'm brutally honest about that. But what I do is I'll pull up these, and you can put them in a binder, and, you know, or you've got your laptop, so you don't really have to print them. 
But I mean, y'all look at this. It says our global marketing group says, well, global marketing group, who's not going to buy into that? Mm -hmm. Who does that? So every product, so I just for tonight, I printed off some of these, got your eye makeup remover or whatever, and it'll give you the top tips about what to do or what it does for you and what the results are. Also, I've got a girlfriend that is allergic to everything, y'all. I don't know how she, know how she survives. But her dermatologist told her, she's like, I love Mary Kay because Mary Kay has no secrets. What they mean by that is on our in touch, we have the ability to go in to a product ingredient search. And on that search, you type in item X and it will tell you every product that has X in it. So the people that are like, I'm allergic to whatever, type that in, pull that list off, and then you know what products. And there's no downside with us because of the 100% buyback guarantee, y'all. So he wouldn't try that. So if y'all got any questions or anything, I'll look in the chat while my girlfriend here, let me tell you a little bit about April, y'all. This is April Brene Sunshine. She is a ray of sunshine. And y'all, her story is amazing. I'm grateful to call her my friend. And if you were not on when I first popped on this, I, the first time I met her, I was like, I've got to have these lashes. And she's like, and it's easy. And I'm like, for who? <laughs> she's, like, she's like, practice makes perfect. <laughs> and practice makes gla lashes, I guess, because she was laughing. She was like, I feel so weird without lashes. So well, she is going to show you how to do this. And we're going to highlight her and just let her take it away. And, you know, April, let me know what you need from me, but I'm just going to stay silent and let you do it. Okay. Thank you, Tina. Love you, girlfriend. Love you more. Love you more. Thank you, ladies, for joining us on tonight. I am April Bonet Sunshine, new independent beauty consultant. I'm excited about Mary Kay. I've been using Mary Kay since I was a teenager. I had acne really, really bad. And um, over time, I just didn't use it because it went away. But I'm getting older and with life comes the wrinkles and the faces. And so I'm really working hard to just keep my face on point. So I'm going to talk about lashes. Lashes was something I was actually introduced to maybe about a year and a half to maybe two years ago. I never wore lashes because I always had my own natural. I would use the amazing um, eyelashes. I mean, uh, mascara, there's all kinds of mascaras. But when I started trying lashes on, I just, I just had to do it. So for those who are not familiar with using lashes, I know Shawnee B is familiar with lashes. She wears them from time to time. But um, I wanted to just kind of go into detail about it. It's really simple. What you do is you just pick a lash that you like. I, if you're not sure about lashes or how to put them on, what I suggest you do is go on Amazon. They have like, you can buy 100 lashes, maybe like 10 to 20 bucks of different kinds of lashes and you just play with it. Buy some lash glue from the, your local beauty supply store and just play with it. And use your Mary Kay eye remover and start over. You don't have to rub, just you know, rub it off and then just start over and do a whole new set until you get it right. But so starting off, I do a um, eyeliner, which is I, I go with black because just in case you don't do it perfectly, the black covers up the mistakes, okay? So I'm using the waterproof um, liquid eyeliner. So I'm gonna just do that really quick here. Kind of just, just glot it on. I like to do a little cat eye effect because I have little eyes. And if you have little eyes like myself, um, thick eyeliner is your best friend. It makes your eye pop and make it bigger. And I try to make a line as thick as I can and as perfect as possible so that when I put the lash on, see how my eye is bigger? Just by that alone. I'm doing this side. Did y'all bring y'all's lashes with you? No? That's it's amazing, April. That's what I do. With the liquid proof, you can just glide it on. You just slide it on, go up, and bring it back down like a V. And you color it in. And isn't that the best brush, April? It's everything. It's effortless. I'm a perfectionist, so please don't. 
<laughs> so see how my eyes just got bigger just with the eyeliner alone? Let that dry for a second. While this is drying, you get a chance to prep your eyelash. So you can pick any brand you choose. Um, these are, I like dramatic lashes. Can y'all see that? The dramatic lash, I love these. Now the hard part is taking the lash off. This is how I do it. So I bend the actual this way and I just pull it right off. Instead of wow. trying to pick it and messing it up and just bend it back, pull it off. That's Remember fabulous. your left and your right, guys. So what the instructions are, what you do is you take your lash and you cut it according to the length of your eye. I have little eyes, so I just measure to see how much I should cut off. And you just, I take my, be like little scissors like this, little small scissors, you can get you a little manicure set. I just use a manicure set for my lashes, or you can buy a lash set if you choose. Does Mary Kay have any kind of like scissors or whatever like that? But if not, you can just- And then I, um, we got the curler. Yeah, the curler is good too. And then you just cut it and you measure it to size on both sides. And after you do that, you have your lashes. So now this is the fun part. You take your eyelash glue. It can be messy, but the best way to do is go ahead and just, well, there you go. What you do is you go ahead and just, I like this kind of just dab it down a little bit. So I don't have to do that much squeezing. And I take my lash or you can take tweezers, okay? So I'll do that. I'll use tweezers for some of us. We're still beginners and I'm going to respect that because I know how it goes. So get your tweezers. They also have eyelash holders. You can like buy them from different beauty supply stores, little tweezers, but get your tweezers. Hold down your lash with your tweezer. And you take your eyelash glue and you just put it on the strip as so. I'm gonna start and just put it on really quick here. Girl, this is fascinating. See how I put that glue on there? So you put it on pretty thick. Yeah, I do. I want it to stay. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, it's it's all according to you know how you practice. I practice that the more I the more I use, the better. Uh, <laughs> but just make sure you keep it on the strip. Do not uh, let it go to the uh, actual hair itself. So what I do is you can use your tweezers, but I like to as it's glue as it's um, drying the glue, I kind of shape the lash a little bit to my eye. And you wait about thirty to sixty seconds before you apply, which means the glue is halfway dry. So when you apply the lash, it just sets. So what you wanna do is you apply the lash to your natural lash line, not on the eyelash hair, but right above where the line is. Now with the tweezers, it's a lot easier or with the eyelash gripper, it's a lot easier where you just take it and you just apply it. So what I like to do is I bring my mirror up very close so you can see, you gotta see. <laughs> Put it up close. Wow. See, I don't like to use the, I just go ahead and just do it like this. But if you use the tweezer, it is a lot easier, but I've gotten so used to not using the tweezer yeah, I can see how I would poke my eye with those tweezers. I can, I think I'd be a finger. Wow, girl. The key to it is you wait 30 to 60 seconds before you apply, because as you are applying the lash, it immediately grips where it, where you land it. So be careful where you land it. That's where the practice comes in. That's where that dark eyeliner comes into play. Because by the time, and I use dark eyelash glue also, um, that also helps blend in the mistakes. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Now I use Ardell lash glue. It dries really quickly. So it's um, a lot easier than some of the others cause it takes a while for it to dry. But I mean, as you continue to um, learn what you like, 
You can use whatever glue you choose. I do not rec do not use hair glue. Do not use that. That is not good. It's not for the eye. All right, and the other side. You can blow on it or just wait about 30 to 60 seconds. But this glue dries pretty fast. So here we go, other side. Yep. And you're literally just laying that on top of that lash. I'm laying it on my natural eye line. I do not put it on the eyelash. Okay. I mean, when you first start out, you will put it on your eyelashes because it's easier. Hey, bunny. But hey, I'm sorry. Uh huh. Come on in. So, and you make sure you press, press from end to end. Or you can take your tweezer and do the same. And the tweezer, you just hold it. Give it that placement. If you can want to adjust it or you can move it over with your tweezer, but you'll know. That's why I like dramatic eyelashes because it's, you can tell your eyelash from the, the actual false. But um, to blend in your natural eyelash, use, eyelash, use your um, mascara. Well, mm. you can blend it in. Now, if you want more of a natural look and you kind of want to take some of the flare out of your lash, you can use mascara if you want to make it natural looking or more dramatic, depending on what you want. But this is pretty much it. Mm. Now, April, this may be a silly question. No. But if you're, if you're going to rock out like a bunch of eyeshadow, do you do your eyeshadow first or do you put your mm, glasses that question. into your absolutely do do your makeup first eyelash is the last step that is your okay. last step and then of course you come back with your your face spray for your setting spray for your makeup but yes make sure you do your eye makeup and your foundation do all of that first the lashes are, is the last step but i so that's pretty much it but just keep practicing i'm telling you go on yeah, amazon question. yes what's your question Okay, so we've talked about this with me with my lashes, they short and kind of curly and straight at the same time. Uh huh. So what type of lashes do you put on with those type of eyelashes? You can really put on any type of lash you want. What you do is you just get some eyelash, I mean, get some mascara, or, if, or, if, or you can just curl your eyelash first. Oh, so the mascara will actually put them in order so I can put- Yes. Put Yes, put you put your mascara on first and let that set, and then you can come in with your um, eyeliner. But I mean, I know Shawnee B, you use um, eyelashes. Is there a type of way that another method that that we could try that you know, as far as blending in your own lashes with the the uh, eyelashes? Yes, though? the blending. Um, yeah. So what you said was right. You could you can kind of um, tease it out with the um, the eyelash comb, mm -hmm. and then once you get to the desired liking of that, then that eyelash that you select, you, you'll be able to pick out the eyelash that fits the dramatic of your eye. And then once you curl it out, it'll blend in and then you can dip with the mascara stick and it'll blend okay. it together. That's, it'll mold it. Cause that's my thing, you know, cause they straight curling, they all blended together. And so, so that makes sense to use mascara. So yeah. Yeah, you just use mascara before. Yeah, and I'd go with Love Lash for that. The, yes. the Love Lash mascara. Yeah. The love lashes, that's one of the really good ones. And I know some people like to use the ultimate. If you just, if you want to just be dramatic, but you're not ready for a dramatic lash, then you can definitely use the ultimate as well. So that's pretty much it, ladies. I mean, all you do is just uh, make sure you measure the eyelash to your eye, put on your eyeliner, we'll do your mascara, your eyeliner, cut the lash accordingly and use tweezers. And you just set it accordingly and just um, wait about 30 to 60 seconds before the glue dries and it just attaches right on. That's amazing, girlfriend. Thank you. Simple, simple, y'all. We can all do that. We'll be rocking those face masks because we'll have those pretty lashes. One thing you'll be able to see. Everybody will see, exactly. <laughs> so any other questions, guys? How, um, April, how long do your lashes stay on? Well, you're supposed to take them off, but <laughs> the, the way my method is set up, I can keep my lashes off for about two to three days. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. that's not long. Yeah. So in that case, then do you, if you use the eye makeup remover, will they come off? Oh, comes right off. Like okay. I, just, I can just take the, the, the a cotton pad, okay. uh, put the remover on there and I just hold it. I just okay. hold it, hold it and press. 
and it okay. just comes right off and okay. it doesn't mess the lash up. It's oil free. So it's not going to mess up your lash. Plus I like to reuse my eyelashes. So it's a great way to not mess up your lash because it just slides right off or it's just trying to pull it. Mm. And yeah. So this is some really good stuff. I tested it because I'm real funny about my lashes. I'm cheap about it. And uh, <laughs> I want to preserve my lashes. So this stuff is really great. It, it doesn't mess your lash up or anything at all. With so it. taking them on and off every night, what would you say you get about a week out of them maybe? Or Oh man, I, I can use these lashes for maybe like a, a month. I, oh I, wow. I, I literally okay. take them off and I, I shampoo and I, and I, you know, lay, I, I um, rinse them off and I lay them flat. Okay. Yeah. Very good. I it have, depends on what you have. Some people like to use the mink lashes, you know, where it's or it's human hair, where it, you can continuously use it. These are silk, so they don't last as long as the natural, um, as the the human hair and the mink lashes. But the mink and the human, they they last a lifetime. You said human. Yes, human hair lashes. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. Mink, I'm not kidding. <laughs> you know? yeah, mink, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they have the mink. Because, you know, right now it's kind of hard to, some people like to go get the individuals done. Yes. But, you know, with the social distancing, this is yeah. a great way to just practice and, you know, choose your own glam. Yeah. So it shouldn't be any problem at all to get good at this and then put them on at, you know, 8, 9 a.m. and rock them out till 9 or 10 o'clock that light night. Mm -hmm them off and be good and put this right on them and they'll slide right off and what it will not that? harm them this is the um oil-free eye makeup remover okay by mary Kay. it's really really good like really good i can take my i don't know if i can use it for a lipstick but i like wearing matte lipsticks and it's hard to take off matte lipsticks yes. and i'll even show you how to, how great this stuff because is sometimes you know? i have a hard time at the end of the day removing the how the mascara or whatever you know ends up under your eyes yeah, and this, this product, I like I said, these flat cotton browns are your friend. Shake it on, down. lay it on, count to 10. I know, for red lipstick, y'all, Halloween makeup. This is the bomb for that. Looky there. That's amazing. Off. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. Matte lipstick. I've got it's kids long. that want, you know, whiskers or whatever. And truthfully, that that eyeliner that she used, that's great for face paint if you're going to, you know, cats or whatever. Yeah, it comes right off. Yeah, I love that it. little uh, line. Is I thin. Need some of that April. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. I stuff. need that, especially like if I can remove all that. Because sometimes it doesn't always come. I need some of that. Yeah, this is really good for that eyelash glue. You know, instead of trying to pick that eyelash glue off, Ugh. it 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 just just go ahead and just press down and just rub gently. It comes right off the clumps, all of it. I was shocked. It, it surprised me. That's greatness. Way to go! All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on. How about you, Ginger? We're gonna we're gonna figure this out, girl. <sighs> we'll be yes, we are for seminar next year. And y'all, that is red stiletto lipstick she's putting on. For red, it rocks it. Look at that. So. That's the mat. That's it. Yeah. So. That's just great. All right. I'm going to turn it back over to my girlfriend, Ginger Benedict, see if she has any wonderful words or her takeaway and we loved it. I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Well, I, I'm so excited that we did this. Normally, we're getting ready for leadership conference and seminar, and those false eyelashes are everywhere, but it, they're so beautiful. And so we so appreciate you, April, like showing us I have us a how question. To do. Okay. Okay, so my question is, is it okay with um, the, the false lashes to use like an eyelash curler after you put them on? Yes, you can. Just be very gentle. Don't, don't go too close to the base and just be gentle. You know, don't press as hard as you would with your own natural. Perfect. Yes, you Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, Renee, uh, April, wait till you see us. 
I can't wait. I can't wait to see what you got. I can't wait. Someone's gonna have purple and pink eyelashes. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> oh, Halloween oh, Saturday night. We could have. Hey, do they have? I wonder if they have some with like rhinestone. Oh, they have yeah, all kinds. The flat feathers, have... peacock, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you ginger I all right thank it. you thanks girls we'll see you next time thank you everybody good Bye. night Bye. thank y'all for joining Bye. us i appreciate you april thank you Bye, tina april. appreciate you, you guys bye buddy thank, thank you, you. So much. all right so i was late that's okay no but i need this i need that <laughs> i got you i, I need I got that you. <laughs> i'm almost out of my other one i need that now <laughs> okay <laughs> bye goodbye bye. i'm gonna text you april okay <laughs> Hey, bye.